Hi you guys, welcome to my channel. If you guys want to see how I achieve this look, keep watching. Um, big beautiful hair, hair quick weave. This is the 4C Coily in the color DR2730. You guys can see that right here. 4C Coily. Now again, I've, I've I've purchased this hair before, but I've, I've purchased it in the 4A Kinky. And I've seen a couple of YouTubers that was actually using this style. Now when you first, this is what the wig comes in. It comes in this little container right here, and then this plastic slip. And it has a net up here. This is the color of the hair, you guys. Now this, this the wig right now looks atrocious. So I'm gonna have to play with it a little bit. I'm gonna have to comb through it just to get some kind of definition, you know, with how I want it to go. So I'm gonna just pop this on my head real quick. Just gonna pop it on my head real quick. And now I have this comb. I know I look crazy, but I'm gonna use this comb to comb through it. Some other things you're gonna need is a crochet needle, some bobby pins, and I use this spray right here on this type of hair. Argon oil from Morocco. This is a leave-in conditioner. So, right now, I'm just going to comb the heck out of this hair. Okay, you guys. This is a half wig. So, mostly it will be to the back if I was going to wear it like this. But I'm not. So, I'm basically going to just use the top piece of this hair. So, I'm going to take this off. And I'm going to measure my hair from here to here and all the way around just to see what it was. The so last time I did this wig was about a five. Um, this time I think I'm going to go over a little bit because over time, you know, what I wore from about two weeks, it kind of shrunk a little. So I'm going to measure from the end of this braid to this braid. And that is actually a six. So when I measure this, okay, this was about the same too as well. So, I'm going to measure this back to the end of that. That's about a, I guess I can do this all the way around as a six. So, I'm a, a little over six. I'm going to do that all the way around. And I didn't show you, guys, the last time I did this, I did it with live pants. Because, again, I don't really want anything that's permanent. So, I don't want to sew it in. So, I'm going to use these bobby pins to actually hold them in. And as I get, but once I put it on, the sides, I'm going to take, cut off certain pieces of the hair and crochet it to the side of my hair just so it look more natural. So when I cut the wig, I will come back and show you guys exactly what it looks like. Okay, you guys, so I'm going to start bobby pinning this around and I think I'm going to have to cut the back side because I think I uh, over uh, measured, but we will see. I think it will, yeah. So I'm going to continue to put my bobby pins on the sides. Like I said before, it shrunk when I um I measured exactly the, the last time with the wig that I put up, did the last time. So it was like I was trying to pull it so it could fit. So right now, Let's see where I am. This is a lot of hair. So I'm going to have to cut it. This is a lot of hair. So. Um, again, I'm bobby pinning it because I don't, I don't want something long term. So. Yeah, I'm gonna have to cut this back section some, just a little bit. Let me pull some hair. Okay, you guys, I'm gonna start clipping this. I cut a little bit on this side to get to the liking of, because this is a lot of hair that I want. So, again, like I said, I'm gonna go back and tackle these sides over here. 
So again, I'm cutting downward just to get rid of some of that bulk. I do want to keep some in my face. The last time I actually cut a whole lot of it out. So. So let's cut this down to and it's only going to get bigger as I continue to pull it out some. I like how, like this side, I'm going to have to. Cut it down. I don't want to cut all my collar out, but... Okay, you guys, this is what I came up with so far. Now the back, I um, I crocheted it just so it looked look more natural. I may cut it again, I'm not sure. Now my sides, I'm just putting some gel and some, um, some leave-in conditioner and some, what is this? Um, curl vitalizer. Old Pro. Um, I actually got this from TJ Maxx. I love it. Just to get some kind of definition of my curls on the side. Just so I won't have to get a haircut. Because it's been, what, about three weeks since I had one. So a little moisture. Let's see. I bet my side's only thin up, you guys, so. Make sure that's covered when I'm doing this. Just uh, again, I'm gonna just keep going in a circle. You can see it a little bit, but I'm gonna let this dry. I'm gonna let this dry, and when I decide on what I'm gonna do to the top. Some more if I'm gonna clip it some more. If I'm gonna kind of undecide it, but I like the the poof, the big poof part of it. So here's my comb. Moves down slow. Working on these sides, and when it's complete, I will show you the finished look and maybe my outfit for tonight.